life found in certain areas of the Susquehanna River um, in different areas in um, in central Pennsylvania. So that includes areas in Lancaster, Cumberland counties, also York County. So right now I am at the new Cumberland boat launch. So this is one of the areas where they did find some high levels of E. coli and this was found by a group. They are known as the Lower Susquehanna River Keeper Association and they test areas in the river in certain um, counties and boroughs all across central Pennsylvania and they test four levels of E. coli and they do that from May to September of each year. So the group collects samples from the river and they bring it back to their lab and they conduct those tests and according to the group multiple access points in Cumberland, Lancaster and York did test high for levels of E. coli and that was for several consecutive weeks really since they started testing in May. So like I said they do this from May to September and they've been doing this for years, that is. And so as for right now, they do believe it is not safe to do recreational activities in certain areas around the Susquehanna. Now, they do um, come out with new test results um, each week up until September. And so they will come out with some more test results on Friday. Um, so all of this data that we're getting, it is from the results that they put out last week. And um, like I said, they will come out with more results on Friday. But um, we will have a link on where you can find a map that show you all the different areas um, that they do report there are high levels of E. coli as well. And they did say the, te the test can change um, depending on what week it is. And they also said they believe that this area in certain areas are getting high levels of E. coli because of um, runoff from a lot of the rain that we've been getting. I mean, if you've been outside, you probably know we've been getting rain for um, really for a lot of the consecutive weeks here in central Pennsylvania and they believe that rain is contributing to these high levels of E. coli because of the runoff as well. So today we did get a chance to go behind the scenes and if you see right here I do want to show you this runoff. You can see it did rain earlier it just stopped not too long ago. You can see that water flowing into the river there and you can see that river is flowing at a pretty good um, pace as well as so they said a lot of the runoff, you know, could come from different areas and flow down the river too, and hence why they could get those high levels of E. coli. So we did get a chance to go behind the scenes and go into the association's lab just to see how they're conducting these tests. So I really want you to watch and tune in tonight at six o'clock so you can see that full story and see how they are conducting these tests, how they're getting their results and what it looks like because it is pretty amazing the process that they go through. And like I said, they have been doing this for years that is. So you definitely wanna tune in tonight at five and six to see that story. For now, reporting in Cumberland County, I'm TJ Anthony, CBS 21 News.